Hi, this is Mike and Laurie with Hamburg Honey. And uh, it's the middle of August right now and um, a lot of beekeepers aren't sure exactly what they should be doing in August. They're just letting their hives sit and then they're taking their honey off in September. Um, I found it's much better to get your honey all off your hives, at least here in central Wisconsin, in August. Um, because what you have to do yet before it starts getting cold towards the end of September you have to treat for mites, which generally, no matter what um, type of treatment you use, it takes about two weeks. And then you have to have about two weeks of time uh, that you can feed your, your bees some syrup. So what we're doing today is we're actually gonna be taking all these honey supers off. Um, these are all queens that we bred last spring um, that haven't had any type of um, my treatment and since October of last year we did an OA treatment. So throughout the summer we've been doing uh, drone brood removal and they both have had a brood break because um, we removed the queens and let them make new queens. Um, this is a new queen in this hive. So we're going to be testing for mites and seeing how good our stock is um, at controlling mites. So this will be a live uh, a broadcast of what they're actually doing. We're not going to try to stop stop recording or, or change the numbers. So this is a brood frame that we pulled out. It has a lot of kept, uncapped brood right here. So this is the type of frame you want to choose from. You don't want to choose a frame that has a lot of capped brood because um, the mites aren't generally going to be on that frame. They want to be on the frame um, where there's larva that's going to be capped uh, within the next day or two. So, all we're gonna do is shake this frame off in our little bag. That should give us enough. Set this back in the hive. And it's very important that you find your queen first before you do alcohol washes. You don't want to accidentally get her messed up in that. Um, so it's best if you can find your queen first and then get your frame for your alcohol wash. So, that one is not going to work at all because there was not enough nurse bees on there. They all flew off when I shook them off. So, we're going to find another frame here quick. Check this frame, make sure the queen's not on it. it. Has one side of unkept brood right here. Oh, nope, the queen is right here. So, if you wanna show her here. Oh, she just walked over to the other side of the frame. She's right here in the corner. So we definitely wanna, don't wanna get her in the alcohol wash. So we will put her back and use this frame right here. It's got some unkept brood all the way around the edges here. This is all unkept brood. So this one should be perfect. wasn't quite a half a cup, but we do have enough in here. So I'll put some more in. Make sure we have full 300 bees. There we go. And we'll put the lid on. And we got this new mite wash container. From Dancing Bee from Company. Dancing Bee Company, yeah. They're out of Canada. Out of Canada. Now everybody's familiar with the yellow ones that we use, we use those as well. But we have found that uh, they tend to leak a lot once you have the alcohol in them and you're swishing them around. So uh, we've been using this one a lot more, we really like it. And while those bees are sitting, we always like to get the hive put back together. Now there is some undrawn frames in here, uh, which is fine. Um, we took some brood out of here 
uh, not too long ago um, to uh, make some things. No, let's see. I'm not seeing any yet. And see what we've come up with for mites. That doesn't sound quite right just to see one mite in a hive that hasn't been treated in basically a year. So we'll keep looking. And if that does turn out to be the case, this is definitely a queen that we want to breed from next year. That's right, one mite. So this is the next hive that we were working on. Uh, we located the queen in there and uh, we located this nice frame. It's got a bunch of open brood and it does, as a bonus, it has some uh, open drone brood. So I think this will be a really good frame to check if the, the mites were gonna be anywhere in the hive, they're gonna be on this frame. So just making another run over of the, the frame, so. In here, get our half cup of bees. Wasn't quite half a cup. There we go. Drop those back in there. And as Lori starts to swish that around, I'm going to get this hive put back together so we're not stressing them out too much. This is another one of our queens we grafted. Yeah, this is another one of the, the queens we grafted early last summer. You know, I had uh, oxalic acid treatment in October and they've been treatment free since then. We're trying to make sure we only breed from good high quality stock that is fairly resistant to mites. You know, nobody's ever going to get a queen that's completely resistant to mites. It's probably just never going to happen. Not to mention, I like to make sure they survive winter before we take yeah. brood off of we them. We like to have brood, winter hardy queens um, that are good at controlling mites. So we'll get this one buttoned back up so they're not so squirrely and start seeing preliminary results on our alcohol wash. So what are you seeing so far, Lauren? Any? Um, yeah. Seeing a couple? One, two. Three. All right, let's take a look here. I'm supposed to shake this for about a minute. Make sure you get all the mites off, get all of them killed, get them down into the bottom. All right, let me see, one, two. There's one up on, two on this side you can't see over there. Yep. So one, two, three. Three mites in this alcohol wash, which gives us a, a 1% infestation, which by most recommendations you shouldn't even treat. Uh, we probably won't treat these hives um, until we possibly do a oxalic acid vapor treatment in the fall, um, sometime in October. So we'll keep moving on with this video. These two are my queens. This last hive we're gonna test. This is a, a new strain of bees I got. They're called Minnesota Hygienics. Uh, I got this bee, this queen, in the spring. She's never been treated, so we'll open up this hive as well and do a or, uh, alcohol wash on this and see how this Minnesota Hygienic stacks up to the queens that we've been breeding. So 
we'll get into this hive uh, shortly here. Now we're into our last hive here. This is the hive that's the Minnesota Hygienic Queen. Uh, she has a really good laying pattern. There's quite a few bees in the hive. Um, we picked a good frame here. It has some open brood. It also has some open drone brood um, and some drones on here. So um, this should be a really good frame to check. So let's get our little basket here. Other bees back in. You guys were spared. Luck of the draw, I guess. So we'll get this hive button back up while well, Lori starts shaking on that one. And we'll see what the results are for this hive. You know what I haven't noticed, Mike? What? Um, hornets and wasps robbing while we're doing this. Nope, we haven't seen any much of any robbing. No hornets, no wasps. We have some boxes over here that didn't have quite cured honey on it yet, just mostly nectar. We're going to let them rob those out. So, let's see what we're getting here. No, just like these other hives, uh, we've done drone brood removal on this hive uh, once or twice this summer. Um, we did it two weeks ago, and the drone brood that we cut off had quite a few mites in it. Hopefully, removing that drone brood gets rid of most of the mites, but we'll see here. So far, let's see, one, two... Seeing three so far. Let's keep shaking up here. Why is it doing that? Did I close a bee into the seal? Probably. That's all right. All right. And see one, two, three, Can get close up. four. Five, which is still not too bad, it's still below 2%. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Tiny bit higher than my other hives, but not too bad. So this prob one probably will get a treatment this fall, um, just to make sure we knock down those mites. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, get back out there and uh, enjoy your bees. Thanks. Bye.